Continuing our look at authentication, let's take a look now at the security card. The security card is what we call something you have. This is something you physically have on your body. Now, when I was working for the Bureau, when I was working for the intelligence community, I had a badge. And within this badge, I had a chip, or we can also call it integrated circuit card. But it was a smart card identification thing. And what would happen is, like within the Bureau, every major door, every door that had some sort of something behind it that was interesting, was locked. And they had a keypad. And you would have to take your ID and put it against the keypad. And it would register it, beep, brrr, pull up a random string of numbers. So I have to have something I have. So the smart card activated the keypad. Then I had to add something I knew, the passcode. Do, 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 psh, the door would open. Same thing when I worked for the intelligence community. To get into some of the facilities, I would have to have my other kind of badge. Beep. It would read it. And then I would put in my code, something I know. And then the turnstile would open and allow me to go in. So the smart card is usually not a single source of identification. It usually goes in tandem with the password or the username, basically something you know. So this is the something you have, and it works with something you know. Now, what's kind of funny is the FBI badges, we had the smart cards in them. And there is a major hacking convention every year. It's called DEF CON. And at DEF CON, they have this little game called Spot the Fed because there are federal agents that go to DEF CON. Now, some go for fun because there are geeks, believe it or not, within the Bureau and the DEA and other federal agencies. And then, of course, they also send people to keep tabs on what's going on. And so there's a game called Spot the Fed. One year, they had this smart card reader hidden by the entrance door. And as the bureau guys are walking in, now they're in plain clothes, you know, they're in jeans and polos and all this stuff. As they were walking in, this device was reading the smart cards on their identification that they had hidden on their body. And it was displaying on a big screen as they were walking in all their information. They weren't happy about that. But smart cards, something you have, also known as an integrated chip or a chip card. And you're seeing these on more and more devices. So, for example, you can also find them on credit cards. This is going to be, we think, um, kind of standard come the near future. We need some sort of secondary authentication in addition just to your username and password. And yes, it might be a pain to carry it, but it does add an extra layer of security for yourself so somebody can't pretend to be you. Okay, the next video, we're going to take a look at security tokens.